June 12, 2021, Copenhagen, Denmark. The park and stadium is buzzing with excitement. It was match day one of Euro 2020. The tournament had been delayed due to the pandemic, but it was finally about to kick off. Denmark would face Finland in the opening match of Group B. The Danish were looking to start this tournament with a win, while Finland were appearing in their first major tournament. Both sides had everything to play for, and the fans' cheers filled the air as Denmark and Finland babbled. Then, in the 43rd minute, everything changed. Regarding Christian Eriksen, that he is uh, awake and that he's stable, he's in hospital after collapsing. While receiving a throw-in, Denmark star player Christian Eriksen suddenly collapses. At first, no one understands what has happened, but it quickly becomes apparent that something is very wrong. Referee Anthony Taylor immediately stops the game and signals for medics. Eriksen's teammates try to assess his condition as the Finnish players watch in horror. Danish captain Simon Kier puts Eriksen in a recovery position and clears his airway. Soon the medics take over, and fans witness them bring out a defibrillator. Kier organizes the Danish team into a circle around Eriksen to give their teammate privacy and protect him from the prying cameras. For 14 minutes, the medics try to revive Eriksen. For 14 minutes, no one in the stadium speaks. Some even leave early, unable to handle the stress of the situation. Kier and goalkeeper Schmeichel try to comfort Eriksen's partner, who tearfully watches this nightmare unfold. For 14 minutes, the entire world was silent in dread. Miraculously, the medics succeed in reviving Eriksen and he is stretchered away, flanked on both sides by his teammates. UEFA later confirmed that he had suffered a cardiac arrest and suspended the match. The world was silent and the fans especially so, stunned by what they had just seen up close. And then, something happened. A moment of unity in this sea of darkness. Finnish and Danish fans alike joined in chanting Eriksen's name, lending their moral support to the fallen player. And Finnish fans deserved the praise they received because they showed fantastic sportsmanship. When Eriksen was being stretchered away, a few Finnish fans threw their flags onto the field to help shield him from view. They were even the ones who started chanting Eriksen's name. In that moment, he wasn't their opponent. He was a man who needed help, and they provided help in any way they could, providing a moment of beauty in the face of this tragedy. Finally, after a harrowing hour, the Danish FA announced that Eriksen is alive, stable, and recovering in hospital. While the match would end as a 1-0 win to Finland, becoming their first ever victory in a major international tournament, no one cared. What mattered was that the world hadn't lost Eriksen. The world hadn't lost not just a great player, but a great man. That was the true victory of the day. While Denmark's story in this tournament deserves a video to itself, and I'll probably do one as the Euros draw closer, today we'll just focus on Eriksen. With such a glaring cardiac problem, he was fitted with an ICD and many speculated he would retire. This speculation deepened even more when Inter Milan terminated his contract as ICDs were not allowed in Serie A. But against all odds, there was one club who would sign him. Premier League club Brentford would take the risk and offered Eriksen a six-month contract. The day came, February 26, 2022. In a home match against Newcastle, Christian Eriksen entered the field in the 52nd minute. For the first time in eight months, he stepped onto the pitch as fans from both teams gave him a standing ovation. Although Brentford would go on to lose the match 2-0, that day, the headlines were all about Eriksen's return. Then a month later, Eriksen made his return to the national team. At halftime, he was subbed on and just two minutes later, he would square with his first touch as the Johan Cruyff Arena erupts in applause. Denmark would go on to lose the match 4-2, but once again, the headlines were all about Eriksen. His story wouldn't end there, as he would go on to represent Denmark at the 2022 World Cup. Not only that, in 2022, he signed for Manchester United. I'm aware that he has been in questionable form lately, but the fact that he's playing in a big team after a cardiac arrest is amazing. Actually, scratch that. The fact that he's playing professionally at all, after suffering a cardiac arrest, is a miracle. And his story will be remembered. It stands as a symbol of hope where in a moment of darkness and horror, football fans united to provide a glimmer of light. Thanks for watching this. It's a lot heavier than my normal content, but this story was just 
too special to me. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.